Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study about two types of attacking species called nucleophiles and electrophiles. Let's now begin with nucleophiles. Nucleophiles, if we try to split into two words, it can be separated into nucleo nucleus plus philia. Philia meaning attracting. So a nucleophile is any species which is nucleus seeking or nucleus attracting or it's any reagent that actually brings an electron pair with itself. So as you can see a nucleophile is, a nucle uh, is an electron rich species and it can donate its pair of electrons to any uh, electron deficient sites and thereby it acts as a Lewis base. So a typical example of a nucleophile is carbanions as we had discussed previously where carbon has a negative charge and thereby making it a charged species and capable of acting as a Lewis base. Now any reactions in which a nucleophile takes part or nucleophile attacks another reactant are called nucleophilic reactions. Now let's study about electrophiles. Electrophiles similarly if we try to break into two components it becomes electron plus philia meaning it is electron seeking or electron attracting. So as you can see that it is any reagent that takes away an electron pair with itself or seeks an electron rich center. So for the same reason these species act as Lewis acids and a typical example of an uh, electrophile would be carbocation as we had discussed previously where carbon is electron deficient and has only 6 electrons and seeks an electron pair to complete its octet. Now those reactions in which an electrophile takes place or take participates are called electrophilic reactions. So this table essentially summarizes the various types of electrophiles and nucleophiles again separated into charged species and neutral molecules. So if you take a look at this you have nucleophiles and examples of nucleophiles which are charged ions are obviously negatively charged species and examples are OH minus, CN minus, R3C minus and halide ions. Now examples of nu neutral molecules which act as nucleophiles are H2O, NH3, R2NH etc. Essentially those molecules which have atoms with lone pair of electrons that can be donated to an electron deficient site. So these are the examples of nucleophiles which are charged species and neutral molecules. Let's try to understand uh, the same uh, of electrophiles. If you look at electrophiles, charged ions are essentially should be positively charged and the typical example of it is a positively charged carbocation R3C plus and again group 13 halides like BCL3, BH3, ALCL3 also act as electrophiles and other species which are positively charged species like NO2 plus, H plus, CH3CO plus also act as electrophiles. Now examples of neutral species which act as electrophiles are functional groups like C double bond O and alkyl halides. So how do these act as electrophiles? Essentially you can see that in C double bond O the carbon is attached to electronegative oxygen and it essentially withdraws electrons towards itself creating a partial positive charge on carbon making the carbon electrophilic, electrophilic in nature. Same logic applies in alkyl halides also where the carbon is attached to a highly electronegative uh, halide species and this will withdraw the electron towards itself creating a partial positive charge on carbon and thereby making it electrophilic in nature. So these are the examples of electrophiles and nucleophiles and now let us discuss quickly some reactions in which electrophiles and nucleophiles participate. So it is important to note that during any polar organic reactions a nucleophile attacks because nucleophile is electron rich it obviously attacks an electron deficient site or otherwise called electrophilic center and similarly on the contrary you can see that electrophiles will attack electron rich center because they are electron deficient or otherwise called nucleophilic center. Let's have a quick look at this particular example which we have already discussed previously. Here we have two species, here we have, here we have a reactant and here we have an attacking species. If you look at the nature of the reactant you can see that due to the presence of an uh, electronegative oxygen partial positive charge is developed on the carbon and what is the attacking species since it is positively charged a negatively charged species should attack this and that is essentially sodium bisulfate where HSO3- attacks this particular species giving us the final product. Now if you look at this reaction closely you can see that a nucleophile that is HSO3- of sodium bisulfite is attacking an electrophilic center and what does it do? It is essentially adding to the original reactant. 
So for the same reason this is an example of a nucleophilic addition reaction where a nucleophile adds to a reactant molecule here. Let us discuss another type of reaction in which nucleophile participates. Here we have an alkyl halide system, Rx system and because bromine is again electronegative, partial positive charge is developed on the carbon here and you have a negatively charged species OH- which obviously acts as a nucleophile. So the nucleophile will attack this particular electron deficient site which is carbon and resulting in final product which is CH3, CH2, OH and Br-. So in contrary to the previous example, we can see that here the nucleophile is essentially substituting bromide, uh, bromine from the uh, Rx system here instead of adding to it. So this will be typically an example of nucleophilic substitution reaction. So similarly if you look at this particular example, here we have a benzene system which is electron rich due to the presence of pi bonds and RCOH which is an acyl system, acyl halide. This essentially forms a complex with this AlX3 creating an electrophilic center and the pi electrons, pi electrons attach this particular electrophilic center giving us a final product like this. This is a very important reaction called Friedel-Crafts acylation reaction about which you will learn in detail later. So if you look at this you can easily identify that this is nothing but an example of electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction where it is electrophilic why because an electrophile is involved in this aromatic because the aromatic system is attracting the electrophile and substitution reaction because the hydrogen here is actually replaced by RCO or RCO plus uh, ion. So these are the various reactions, uh, these are the few examples of reactions in which a nucleophile and an electrophile participates. We will study in detail about these reactions and its mechanism in later classes.